with crippling uh, cold hitting the area, not a bad idea to stay, stay inside. If you do venture out, you found that Pittsburgh Street's in pretty good shape tonight. Bob Allen shows us how the city got rid of the ice. This minor accident happened on an icy snow-covered street in Brookline. By morning, temperatures had dropped well below freezing, making regular rock salt ineffective. The Public Works Department switched to another de-icing material called blue tinted magnesium chloride. That goes to about 20 to 25 below zero. So we feel that that, even overnight, just getting material down, it'll slowly work, and then when daylight comes up tomorrow, Monday, uh, being it's a holiday, should be able to be, have, have pretty free streets again. Uh. Gable says drivers will be working around the clock, salting and plowing, and because of the Dr. Martin Luther King holiday on Monday, traffic won't be as heavy, and they'll have more time before morning rush hour Tuesday. We'll make an assessment tomorrow morning to see where we are, where we've cut coverage, and if uh, we got to keep extending, we're, we're intended to work 12-hour shifts until we get this all done. Even if the streets are clear, sidewalks could still be icy and dangerous. With temperatures expected only in the teens tomorrow, the best advice if you have to go out is be safe and dress warmly. According to the National Weather Service, a wind chill advisory is in effect until 1 p.m. Monday, meaning wind chills as low as 20 below zero are expected. The wind is probably the most dangerous thing when the weather is, when it's really cold out and when you have a low wind chill, skin can actually freeze within seconds. Bob Allen, KDKA News.